Where's my Congo Bongo controller? I need to toggle this. And then hopefully I'll still get audio. Is it? Okay, yes. Good. Congo Bongo. You thought Donkey Kong was good. What if it was in three dimensions? Oh, I missed that jump. If you, if you jump against a wall, you'll bounce off. So it's like you kind of have to... If you want to jump up instead of climb up. All right, look at this monkey. Fuck you. That monkey's dead now. And so am I. Now, here's something crazy that I saw recently. Um... I, I should go very uh, well, whatever. Uh, oh, this monkey, get off me. This game and Donkey Kong were programmed by the same company, as I understand it. Parts of Donkey Kong were outsourced. And it was, you know, part of like a partnership with another company in some ways. Is it Ikigumi? I forget the name of it exactly, but... My understanding is that that same company also did a deal with Sega and Ikigami, yeah. And they also did Congo Bongo, which is pretty fucking crazy. Snakes! Oh my god, so many snakes. Too many snakes, ultimately. I forget what the deal is with getting these. Okay, they just, they just eventually detach. I was like, is it like a. Oh my god. That's, that last climb, I feel like, is borderline unfair. Congo Bongo is unbalanced. If I had to get just one old console, which would I get? Um, I mean, I guess that depends on your definition of old. Fuck. Guess the NES? Saying PS2, like, are we is, are we considering the PS2 an old console? No, right? The answer is no. Now we got these rhinos. Oh, go! Oh, man, so close. Oh. Well, that's Congo Bongo. There's some other, I, I haven't, I have not 
messed with the mister in a little bit. I'm in the process of, I'm, I had, I rewired a lot of my stuff and now none of it is hooked. I, I have to swap a HDMI cable to switch from the TV to the uh, capture card. And so they're not, they're not both running through at the same time. And um, the upshot of that is that now I can, um, now I can play modern console games at 120 hertz and HDR, like all basically all the stuff that, um, you know, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X can do. Like before I had all that stuff running through a... Um, running through a switcher that basically limited it to 60 frames per second and all that sort of stuff. That's not going to do anything. Too loud, you're too old. That's, they, inv they invented that phrase because of Mr. Do. talking about the I, my messages aren't getting through I've been shadow banned like like it's clearly Ryback the wrestler Step off! Oh. So, like, especially now that, like, you know, after the ownership change and all that stuff, it's been Ryback on, like, finally, someone's gonna come in here and fix this. I've contacted Twitter, but... It's like, no, dude, just at some point, Twitter fucking got bad for everybody when it comes to exposing your content and clicks and all that stuff. It's not anything specific to his fucking stupid ass. But watching people, like, get all fucking conspiracy theory about it over the last handful of years... I mean, it would have been funny if it wasn't so sad. It would have been funny if it wasn't so wrapped up in all the other, like... You know, like, give these people bumper stickers that say, I'm a complete idiot who has no idea how technology works, and I vote. Yeah, whatever. Um... So yes, we love we love Ryback. <laughs> we love Ryback here at the program. Big Ryback fans. We love the big guy. Hmm. 
I understand that Joust 2 has sample, uh, has sound effects now. It, it was missing the voices and stuff. Oh, do we, we need to set a... How's this, uh, how's this going? What's going on here? What are we doing? Hmm. Well, maybe Joust 2 is not working properly right now. I need to, maybe I need to fuck around with that a little bit. Oh, well. thinking about it. Hmm. Initial tests indicate ROM error. Yeah, no, these, this is wrong. There's something wrong here. I like it. I, li I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the way that it, it is wrong, but. Also, it's not even making the noise it's supposed to make when you change between the little guy and the big guy. The big guy. Wait a minute. I keep dying over and over again. I don't know if you can tell. All right, I killed that guy. Hmm. Well, that's strange. I don't know what happened there, but uh But yeah, I'm a little bit behind on my Mr. stuff. I just haven't uh, been able to... I just haven't had time to play anything that's been hooked up to the TV. So I understand that OutRun is uh, in a beta state. It is a little funky. Yeah, and it looks a little funky. Not a great game to play with a D-pad, but you can play it. I don't know. I, Outrun to me is. Uh, it's just. Uh, I, I, I don't know that there's any like effective good version of it that isn't just the arcade version with a steering wheel and all that sort of stuff, you know? Like the. All the approximations. And even that, like, I, I, I will say, I am not the biggest fan of OutRun as a video game. I am a big fan of OutRun as a soundtrack from a video game. Um...
But the game itself, I don't know, like all, all the stuff that Sega was doing around them, this stuff and your uh, hang-ons and your super hang-ons and stuff, like there's some awesome music in all of those games. But I don't know that not always... Turn off the music. Actually, we just turn off the effects too. Oh. What else? I, uh,. I don't remember. There's been some stuff that I've seen, I feel like, come through with this Xerion. That's pretty new, right? Oh, Bosconian. That was another one. A pretty recent addition to the... to the Mr. Family. This is, that's a, this is a really cool effect. How's the Sega CD core? It's great. So for every enemy I shoot with my normal shot here, I get one more charge on my fast shot. Just kind of a cool idea. Oh, we're doing some fucking... some Phoenix-style stuff here, huh? Really good scrolling effect down there. I mean, the rest of the game itself is kind of like a little, uh. I mean, moving this ship around is very muddy. Like, there's an, an inertia on it, there's a weight to the movement, which is, you know, it's, it's got a feel, but. Coming up on the Jalico building. Time to blow it up. Oh. those, I guess. Whew. Are you shooting Starship Enterprises at me? Weird bird thing? It's fucked up.
Ah. Ah, you effers. Oh my god, okay. Woo. I don't know how I made it out of that. Bonus challenge. Open free rapid fire. No, come back. game has a, like a, there's like a depth to this that I uh, would not have expected. Oh. Oops. Well. Uh, what was the other? Oh, Bosconian. Right. Love me some Bosconian. If I tried the energy drink Monster Mule. I don't, uh, it's not ringing any bells. Shout out to Dr. M to the J and Shark Bites and Gypsniz and Torgo. Red Warrior and Priory 7. Hey, everybody. Hi, DMC Redgrave. Are you, are you Lynn Redgrave, but also a Devil May Cry fan? Is that, is that like a... Nice. Extreme Noise Dan. That's a great name. Locked off. Alive, 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 alive. I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna Battle kill this thing. Invasion. Yay! Locked off. Alive, alive. That blast off reminds me of the cadence on it is very similar to Captain Price's. And I've only heard it once. I think it's when you are getting alive, shot and alive. then you've managed to fucking kill somebody who is also shooting you, so you've taken a little bit of damage. At least that was the context it showed up in the one time I did hear it. When he just went, fuck off! After I fucking killed somebody. Alive, alive. Just Perfect, just dumb. Great line of dialogue. Like, that's something I would say while playing this game. Alive, alive. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. They shouldn't have lined up like this. It really makes it easy for me to just do that, you know? Alive, alive. Yay. Locked off. Alive, alive. Oh, a sideways alive. one. The game has changed. Alive, alive. Alive, 
Alive! Alive! What side? That seemed... Whatever they said seemed bad. Locked off! Seemed like something bad was about to happen. Alive! Alive! Ah! Ooh. Ah! Hmm! Darn it. Locked off! Alive! 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 Alright, we did it. That's supposed to say alert, Locked alert. It's, to me, it sounds like alarm, alarm. Alive, alive. But maybe that is a T noise. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. Oh. Locked off. Alive, alive. Alive, alive. Uh, but yeah, you know, hey, if you're, uh, if you're just alive. joining and you haven't been, uh, catching up on this week's stuff, I know Tommy Tallarico is back in the news after the, the H-Bomber guy video, alive. which I probably will watch at some point. Alive, um, alive. We had uh, we had Mike Micah from Digital Eclipse on the podcast this Locked week, off. and uh, you know they they Alive. just shipped Atari Alive. Fifty, which is an awesome collection. But Digital Eclipse has they've done a ton of stuff over the years, and up that up to and including developing games for the Amico. So I asked him. We, we, we spoke very briefly about Alive. some Alive. of the status of some of that stuff. Locked off. And Mr. Tallarico as well. Alive, alive. Alive, alive. Ah, uh, see, we'll put two of them right next to each other, but not go in the alive, same direction, alive. so you can't just bulldoze through them. Very ingenious, weird aliens. Alive, alive. Oh! Go for the space record now! Well, I have Danny back. Oh, yeah, I would, yes. I, I think it's safe to say that Danny O'Dwyer will appear on that podcast. Again someday. I would have Danny O'Dwyer on that show every single week if he had time. To be honest with you. Um, but he's got it. You know, he's got a million documentaries he's working on all the time. Got a lot of, he's got a lot of F1 to talk about. He's making a video game. There's, let's see here. Well, anyway, there's, yeah, a lot of good arcade stuff, but, um, well, let's see, we have, the Saturn core has been getting some additional updates over time here. I think I maybe need to, oops, 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 A, B, C, start, right. X, Y, Z, left. It's a weird order for those buttons to be in when you're mapping them, but hey. Um, anything else to do here? Probably not. Pad 2, all right. That's, that was not there the last time I looked at it. Uh, insert disk. What was not working the last time... I looked at this. Um, 
I think VF2 was a little... Oh, I need to set the region. You're probably going to hear some weird audio. If you hear any audio at all, uh, the audio in the Saturn core for the Mr. is, you know, this whole thing is a work in progress. So it's bound to be very janky, which is fine. Very interlaced. Yeah, this is two. This is Virtual Fighter two. Well, it runs. I mean, you know, this this game for a while there was not running at all, so. You're not hearing any audio. So I'm hearing music and it, but it's very low. So I can I can turn it up, but that might mean when we get to the next game it's going to be uh but but it's going to be an even bigger mess, but hey. I'll just do the voices. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Wahoo. Better. Wahoo. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if this gets... It's the biggest problem with the Saturn in a modern context. Like, one of the, the bigger problems with, like, playing a Saturn on modern TVs and all this other stuff is this interlacing. Like, different games use different video modes. Like, it, VF2, for example, has different video modes for the menu and for in-game. And so, that's a situation where if you're using a lot of scalers and stuff like that to try to, you know, get it running on a modern TV, depending on the scaler you're using, it might have to totally resync the signal when you go from a menu to going in game or go from the loading screen to in game anyway. And so you, you end up in this situation where like it, you are missing a second of gameplay because it, you are waiting for the, the HDMI signal to resync and all this other stuff. So better newer scalers like the RetroTink 5X Pro which I have is better at syncing that stuff immediately even as it changes uh, resolutions and, and goes from progressive to interlaced and all that other stuff and so it's better at displaying it on a modern television but you know but again it's gonna look all interlaced and all fucking weird um, because that's how it was and you didn't really see the interlacing this way on a CRT I imagine if I had this hooked up to a CRT maybe it would maybe it would look okay I mean other than the other graphical glitches and stuff but But it is pretty much the reason why I bought one of those retro tanks uh, was was because it was better at at handling Saturn stuff specifically, and uh, and it works really well. It's been nice. What other what other Saturn? I mean, I don't know. The, the Saturn core is is still, uh, as I said, very much in flux, and so.
Um, so, but you, you know, so eventually this core may have proper deinterlacing built in or something like that. Like that's, you know, a potential future for this. We'll see. Um, I think the PlayStation core, yeah, the, the PlayStation core does have deinterlacing in it and it's mostly fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your friends to claim we're back with a banger. I cannot remember the last time I saw this movie. It's been. At least a decade, potentially two. All right, enough glitchy FMV. Let's get into the thing and see how, how this core runs the game. Let's just do street battle because I'm a street battler. Did they make an arcade cabinet for this? They did, but it's, um... So this home version... Yeah, so they, they are different games. Using the same assets. This home version of the game was rebuilt in a way that makes it a lot more like the... It makes it a lot more like Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's a good, weird... Um, in terms of just the rules of the game and stuff like that, like it, it's it's a lot more like you know combos and, and stuff, how it all works. It's a lot more like the Street Fighter that you are used to. Whereas the arcade version is mostly like that, but also is a little weird. In terms of like, was like there's some juggles and just there's there's like other stuff like the game just plays differently in arcades. Round two, fight. Incredible Technologies did the original arcade version of the game. You may not recognize this gentleman as uh, the guy who played Miklo in Blood In, Blood Out. A much, uh, a, a, a legendary film. That I would much rather watch that, all three hours of it, than watch Street Fighter you the movie. Win. Would I say this is better than Pit Fighter? Y yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Pit Fighter's alright. I don't know. But not... It's not the same thing. <laughs> Maybe we'll play the, you know, I could, I could get the, you know, fire up the Genesis version of Pit Fighter on this thing, which is the version I played the most. I played much more, um, much more Genesis Pit Fighter than I did arcade Pit Fighter. Round one. Oh, look at these hot shadows. Yes. You this is, uh, yeah, this is ray tracing. It's all ray traced, so the reflections are super real. Dancers in the background looking real normal too. Oops, I did not mean to do that. This is one of the first games I got when I got my Saturn. Because 
because there just weren't a lot of you win. other games to choose from. Certainly not a lot of fighting games at the time. Sorry, but I had to impress the ladies. Yes, when it says five hit combo, it does look like it says shit combo, and they're not wrong. But yes, the this this is a gl glitchy representation of this game because we're playing it. You know, the the Saturn core on the Mister is not complete, and so not surprising that there's a lot of sound glitches and and you know audio visual stuff in general and compatibility stuff. It's it's very much all over the place. Um, but it's coming along. That's the awesome thing. Is like this is this is coming along, considering where it was a couple of months ago, and how few games. Also, that the author of this core is based in Ukraine. That he is able to work on it at all is uh, is pretty amazing. Not even going for the claw. Doesn't need it. No. You win. But yeah, this this uh, this home version of the game is not awful. It's not it's not good. But considering you know what your options were on the Saturn at the time for a Street Fighter game and all that sort, of, this was kind of it there for a bit. And this one plays a lot closer to what Street Fighter 2 was at the time, what Super was, Super Turbo was at the time. Not exactly, I'm not saying, but uh, it, it was a lot, a much more faithful recreation of Street Fighter than the arcade version was. And so, <coughs> you win. So at the time, it was just like, well, this this is this is what we got. So we're gonna we're gonna play this. I don't know. This is all we have. This is it. This came out before Turbo. I mean, no, it did not come out before Turbo, but it, on the Saturn, it was, I think this was it. I don't know that there was a proper Street Fighter on, I don't think Alpha was out yet. Because I remember yeah. playing Alpha Versus on the PlayStation. County. Was it in the actor's contracts that they had to do photo shoots and video capture for this? I believe that's the case. I, I want to say that's how it went. Uh, Alpha oh, is on Saturn, oh. but again, not at launch. Like, again, I'm talking about going and buying a Saturn when it first came out. I don't, I don't believe Alpha was an option initially. And by the time Alpha was an option, I believe the PlayStation was already out. I'd have to go look at dates, but... Uh, you win. Perfect. But I remember having this game and not having Alpha. And having to go to the bowling alley Round to play Alpha. Fight. Oh, that effect is missing. You win. Alpha came out before this. I, hmm. In the U.S. Anyway. So June 6, 996 is pretty late because the Saturn came out in what? It was 94, right? Ken versus Lanka. All right, we'll look we'll look it up. We'll look it up. That's the only way we can do this is to, to... Round 1. Fight. Also cool that this stage has the 
Star Trek noises in the background. Yeah, so this came out on Saturn August 95. And so Alpha came out in 96. Yeah. So Alpha was not an option when this was first released. There's Blanca, everyone's favorite. There he is. Charlie in the canon of the film. Imagine if they had kept that cannon for, like, what would that mean you for win. actual Street Fighter if they had decided, like, yeah, no, Blanca, it turns out Blanca is Charlie. The Charlie that Guile's been looking for all this time, it's Blanca. If they had just decided to keep that and not have, well, maybe they, you know, and not have Charlie Nash, if you will, be a separate character. I am the man! That's what he said after beating Blanca. Oh shit. I like that all these screens are on the blue screen that they actually filmed the footage on. They're like, yeah, we could drop something in behind them, but like, let's just. Round one, fight. <laughs> these shadows are cracking me up. Ugh. They love this fight here in prison. Why am I playing this? Oh well, we're in it now. Play till I lose. They should do skins for Street Fighter Six. That like I don't know what I don't know what that would be. I, I guess like they could change Ken's face, or you know, they'd have to go get the likenesses or something to make it work. But like, I guess for Blanca that would be the most extreme one, right? If they did a Blanca skin that was meant to look like Street Fighter the movie. Where's Sawada? That's uh, yeah. Anytime Captain Sawada is not on screen. I want people to be asking, where's Sawada? Sawada is, I, I'm pretty sure Sawada is in this version of the game, right? Um, Round one, fight. There are some characters that are arcade only, like, what, like Blade or whatever the fuck. I'm okay. 
Just like generic bison soldier number seven. Or, uh, Van Damme has fucking seen this shit before. He's like, I can block that shit. Block that asshole. You win. Perfect. Bathos locos forever. Miklo says. Round two. Fight. I, wonder, I, I can't remember if the original arcade version of this had because these are just the regular Street Fighter sound samples this isn't like the actors doing the voices right um But I can't remember if uh, the arcade version had. Oh, nope. I made four choices. Right, salute me. I run the AN forces now. Me. Remember getting a preview build of this for Saturn? Yeah. They just send it out and be like, ah, yes. Yeah. Well, back then, I don't know. Companies were a lot more just like they would send out everything, you know, it wasn't. There was a little, little less like, maybe we don't send this one out. Ken versus Chun Li. Here we go. Round one, fight. Nope. Also, this AI feels a lot easier. Uh, you know, watch, I'll probably lose this one after saying that. But, like, generally, this, this AI feels a lot easier than what the Street Fighter AI normally was back at this point. I don't know why I keep trying to close in. I should just keep doing this. This just works. Yeah. You win. It's a skeleton over there. Don't ask why or nothing. Yeah, that's all chopped up. I, yeah, there's a bunch of weird graphical glitches. Again. You know, the, the Mr. Core is not final by any means. Hmm. 
Okay then. Yo, Lou. Let's see if Sawada is in this. Sawada is, is is it's yeah, Sawada was made it into the home versions. He was like the only character, right? They should have just like photoshopped blood on his nose or some other dumb stuff like that. Never give up. Seven. Six. I think his font is really hilarious too. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Game over. All right, let's let's see a couple of matches with Swata here, and then we'll then we'll do something else <laughs> other than play a broken version of Street Fighter the movie. Uh, yeah. Here he is, everyone's favorite Street Fighter. Swata versus Chun Li. So if I remember right, he's got like a half circle back, a little like, yeah, that thing. <laughs> right, and his fucking super is he just holds up his hands and runs at you full speed. What a good move! Oh! <laughs> Why wasn't, why did Captain Swada not catch on and become, like, why are we talking about Luke? Why is, the, why did they not bring Sawada back for Street Fighter 5 slash 6? Oh, man. And then there's like, a, there's a hilarious Akuma in this game. You have to unlock with a code if I remember right. You win. At least bring back that move. The I'm going to hold up my hands and then run at you as, <laughs> as fast as I can. I want to la I need to land that move now. I just, we have to, I, I don't want to play this, but I want to see that move hit. Next fight. Sawada versus Honda. Round one. Fight. Yes, the ultimate attack. Oh, he's got a little wheel kick thing too, huh? Oh, this, he's got his own. That's not that's not Honda's regular dialogue. But like Ken and Ryu, for whatever reason. So good. Such a good attack. You win. All right. No more. No more Street Fighter the movie forever. <laughs>
Especially when we could be playing Pit Fighter for the Genesis. I mean, let's face it. I don't have the keyboard in front of me, so I can't easily skip through this list, but we'll get there. Pit Fighter Tycoon? What? Someone who didn't know. That's gotta be some kind of. Yeah! The burst! Uh, he, he plays Kato because he's got the flip kick, right? Is that the. No, you don't play as Kato. You play as Ty, the kickboxing champion. For that thing. Yeah! That's the best sample in this game, is the You whip! Record knockout time. Totally studly. Southside Jim. He's got a knife. Now I have a knife. The Genesis uh, sound hardware has never been used to greater effect than it is right now. You're in Pit Fighter. Uh... You hear a lot of people talk about, you know, Crew Ball, other, other quality Genesis soundtracks, but this. Pretty much this and Crazy Bus. Southside Jim. This is the one where we hear this this sound sample. Huh? No. Maybe it's after this. Maybe that's after the grudge match. Probably after this. Yeah. Fucking what? I imagine he's saying, just wait. Yeah. But it's just yeah. such a shitty fucking sound sample. Guy's just walking out from the sides of the crowd there and just doing a stabbing animation even though no one is nearby. You know, just as the idea of like a stage hazard is really good. There's nothing wrong with Pit Fighter. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can do this handstand flip.
problem with playing as Ty, well, I mean, like, I feel like from a gameplay perspective, Ty's super just lands really good, and as long as the third hit of that kick, or I guess the second hit of that kick lands, um, they go flying. And so you can, you know, you get yourself out of a lot of situations that way. It's just a really effective move. But the problem is you don't get the best sound sample in the game. Well, the best, maybe the best sound sample is the, the fucking weird demolition looking dude going. Maybe that's actually the best one. CC Rider. Oh. All right, we're not going to continue, but we are going to play again so that we can hear the best sound sample in the game. And that's Buzz. He just looks so small compared to the other guys. When he flexes, it just looks like, look at this tiny buff man. Fucking Johnny Hungy out here. If Rumble, yeah, it's, yes, Rumbleverse needs this as an emote. No, Southside Gym. Oh, if I, is that if I hold down? I don't know how I did that pile driver. Maybe if you hit up while you're doing the, the complicated input for these super moves, which is uh, hitting all three buttons at the same time. Which actually on the Genesis controller is not that pleasant to do. automatically continues, huh? Like, you can change fighters there, but it's like, no, you're, you're not done. We're not going to let you stop playing. You just keep saying it. Here's going to say it again. Great. Your mind was blown when you saw the arcade version of this game. See, this is the version that's like burned into my brain. So I, I, I know the arcade version is better, but I just can't remember anything about it. I'm tempted to go look at it. Look for power pill.
Well. All right, fine. Let's see if we can make this work. The best. The best. Is this going to run properly? What's what just happened? Everything just went bananas, and Mame locked up. What the fuck? Before even loading the game, not a good sign, man. I when I you tried to use that send in. Why is everything full screen? All right, okay. Mame just quit on me. Ah, uh, maybe I have another slightly worse but mostly fine option for this. Let's let's try that. Um. That send and light gun I got that I still haven't <laughs> had time to figure out when I did get it halfway working in MAME, it really messed everything up. I need to, I, I thought I had wiped my MAME install, but it is still janky in a way that it shouldn't be. And, uh, I need to wipe all the config files and try again, I guess. Come on now. Hmm. Okay. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Anything? Anything? No. Okay. There we go. That Atari coin up coin up noise is a classic. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Way better. I mean, when you see it looking like this, maybe, maybe that Genesis version is pretty good, huh? Oh, no. Also, the AI seems slightly better. I'll turn this down a little bit. I don't know if that's too... Background uh, characters look way better when they come out to stab you. I mean, I guess the whole game looks better, but not, not so much.
I had a match of Call of Duty DMZ mode uh, last night that I finally extracted properly from instead of dying. But that's because I went in there alone, stole some car batteries and a bottle of booze and some comic books and then immediately ran and extracted. It's just a very strange... Very strange mode. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that's what I keep saying, is it just feels like you're going in and... Wait. Can wait. Uh, and fucking cutting off a bunch of catalytic converters and then flying away in a helicopter. It's definitely meth addict mode. Ugh. Thanks to the Phantom Knot for some hot bits. Some hot bits. She's just out here showing off now. Is there a, a ZX Spectrum port of this? I'm going to say almost certainly and I bet it's really good. But before we do that, I'm curious if the other game that Atari made like this is in here. It doesn't look like it is. Uh, it does not look like Guardians of the Hood is uh, part of the Final Burn Neo list of supported games, unfortunately. Yeah, Guardians of the Hood was 1992. Yeah, if, if MAME was working properly, I would uh, fire that up, but it's, uh, it's being janky. It's a shame. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I... I pride myself on having a good working MAME install at all times, and it's it's not it's not where it needs to be, so I need to wipe it out and uh start over again on that. Yeah, spectrum version of fucking Pit Fighter. That sounds like a really bad idea. Um What's the best way? I think this is probably gonna end up being if this is set up properly. I guess, do I want the... Uh, do I want the TS Conf? I think. Why do I still need the keyboard to make this go? Damn. Okay. My keyboard is too far away to make this work. Maybe the ZX Next Core will have a fast way to load these games before we go and use the actual... Yeah, see, it's, it's got VHD support. Can I... do that? Will this work? It's just gonna... Okay, well, we've, we've broken it, so... Let's go to the actual Spectrum Core. And see what we can do. Yeah, I think I am going to need to get that keyboard over here if we want to have any luck. Well, at that point, why don't we just go back to the this one. Happy Friday to you, a Gladius cat, as well. Let's see if we've got this. Thing. Some people like to get tiny Bluetooth keyboards to use with their misters. Not the worst idea in the world. It's reading, it's reading. Okay, uh, that's gonna be under P. 
Yes, Panama Joe, here we are. Loading. Um. Oh, did I? How about we go with fast? <laughs> A brutal beat em up game. Tape version by Will. Nice going, Will. Why does this not work? Oh, man. Okay, well, now that we have the keyboard, we can figure this out a different way here. Let's, uh, hopefully it won't take 25 minutes to load. Yeah, maybe if I tried slow. Maybe if I tried slow, huh? Load tape. Games tap. P. Pickaxe Pete. Piggy. Pinball. Pipe Mania. Pitfall 2. Pit Fighter. Oh, see, this one was hacked by Will. Will didn't make the tape version. Is this broken? I'm not familiar enough with the Spectrum to know if this is... Yeah, that, that seems like it's... Okay, let's try this other version. Oh, we got to reset. The big name in Specky's world. Pentagram. Hit him up in Poland. You took the walk to Poland. Well, I took the pit fighter to Poland. It's me, Pentagram. Well, shit. I'm sure that there is some sort of combination of like, if I go in here and change this stuff and... and make it a different model of the machine and all this other shit that it probably would work, but let's, um... Hmm. Yeah, if I have a snapshot, that would probably work. That's always the... the dirty secret with the Spectrum games is the snapshot of it already loaded into memory, like the save state kind of thing, ends up being... The right way to load it. Oh man, we got Pitman Seven. We got Pitfall Two. We got a Kempston interface. You like good music? Too bad. Rat. Oh no! Ah, it's pushing us away, just like all the other versions of Pitfall 2. You like these jams? This is recognizable as Pitfall 2. These levels look like the Pitfall 2 levels, and we'll pick up the gold and the music will change. But unfortunately, the music is a criminal act. Look at that water. Look at how good it's moving. I mean, compared to everything else on screen, that water looks amazing. <laughs> oh, we died, and that morphs us all the way back to the beginning. And that means we get to do all that stuff again. Pretty awesome, huh? We almost made it to the first checkpoint, but we didn't. And so now we have to go all the way back here. There's the rat, remember from before? Yeah, see? There's Quick Claw the Lion down there. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe this a disc version? Oh god, 
how do I? Okay. The Pitfall 2 music is actually quite good. <laughs> Believe it or not. Here we've got discs, side A, side B. All right, why didn't anything happen there? Discs are plus three. Okay, see, that's that's the thing. It's it's really hard with some of the stuff to to know what you're supposed to even be doing here. That's a plus. Is that the only plus? Okay, spectrum plus two a plus th well plus three. There we go. Thank you. But, it, but it's one of those things like some of these, and it especially happens with Japanese computers. Uh, but it happens for me with a spectrum because I've never seen a real spectrum in my life. Really? Well, I'm, I'm sure I've actually probably seen one somewhere, but. Um, but I've never used a real spectrum. Now we're gaming. Holy smokes! You never would have known that the... the Spectrum was capable of this if you had just looked at Pitfall 2. Alright, is it loading or... Okay, do I need to hit spacebar? There we go. Control options. We have a, uh, player one, a player one Sinclair joystick. Player two keyboard. I probably need to go in here. To change that. Sinclair one plus two? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna play as Ty. There's his foot. Turn disc, press fire. We are turning the disc. We're pressing fire. Holy shit. This is incredible. This is a video game that was sold for money. When you, you know... When we talk about how sometimes modern video games... Like, hey, I can't believe this only runs to 30 frames per second. I can't believe, like, why does this run... Why does this stuff run so shitty? This was like... Sold for money. Better with scan lines? I mean, we can... Just wait. Jim giving me the business just like he always does. I've remapped the controls and now none of the buttons attack anymore. There it goes. I jumped. That looked good. Oh! 
We both had the same idea there. Hard to play this three-button game with one button. It seems like if I hold down the button and push up, I'll jump. If I hold down the button and push down, I'll kick. And then maybe if I push to the side, that's what's making it punch. Yeah. And then back seems to be this, like, crouch. Yeah, back is the, the A and B together grab. How do I do my cool kick? That's what I want to know. Like, the speed is changing a little bit. But yeah, you know, it's it's amazing. Like, to go back, and I love to go back and emulate these weird old machines. Not that the Spectrum is, like, that weird for a whole, you know, continent of people. But here in the States, like, I, I never saw any of this shit. And so you look at these Spectrum games, and you look at, like, how ambitious they were, I guess is maybe the word. Like, how crazy it was, the idea that someone said, like, oh, yeah, we're going to make Pit Fighter for the Spectrum, and this is what we're going to attempt to pull off. Um, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And I, so I, I love going back and seeing this stuff because of just how, like, broken crazy it looks now. And again, I know, like, a ton of people just grew up with this and this was, like, the most popular computer in the world as far as they're concerned. Um... But it's just such a fascinatingly fucking crazy thing. Look at this. I mean, just fucking look at this. Um, all right. Can we? That's a Samurai Showdown? No, right? No, Samurai Warrior. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. But that's, there is a, uh, yeah, Street Fighter 1. Let's see. Your good friends at Tier Tex. There they are. The Street Fighters. I mean, these characters move pretty well. I'll give them that. But these color palettes, like, there's just the, the way Spectrum games looked. It's just so fascinating. Especially, you know, because I grew up with, well, I mean, I grew up with the Atari home computers and then got into the Commodore 64 stuff after that. And so, like, I just feel like those those two machines are so much more capable than Spectrum. Last strength! I don't forget there are many guys like you all over the world. But also, it's not like Street Fighter on the C64 is actually good. You know, it's, it's just shitty in a different way. <laughs> This guy's fucking us up. Teenage Emergency. It's a great name for a game. But what I actually wanted to play, of course, because I am so very me, is Space Harrier 2. Grand Slam indeed.
want to send a special shout out to Spock for graphics. It, that, those are really clean sounding sound samples. But yeah, that would be my, my curiosity would be like, you know, was the original version of the game, have, did, it, did it have this strange pace? Because everything, you know, it, it seems like the, the spectrum cores on the mister here have been, you know, They've been kicking the tires on for a long time, so I'd imagine they'd be pretty good. And it's not out of out of a good question that like a game like this would speed up and slow down on original hardware, you know what I mean? What a color palette, man. Just... Get ready? That sounds so good. The Commodore 64 never had audio that sounded that good. Like speech samples and stuff like that? Never ever. Get ready? LED storm for the title. Okay, here, I'll see if I have it. I do. I need to update all these games and stuff. I know, I think there's been another version of Tosec out since I last updated some of this stuff. Are there emulators for the Tiger Electronic handheld games? MAME will run a lot of those. They're like, em emulation is kind of a weird word for it, but like, yeah, there are, yes, you can play a lot of those.
stereo sound. Since, you know, no one had stereo TVs back then. No, 100% is supposed to be mono. It's mixing the stereo outputs into one channel. So you can go 25 or 100 is just all the way mono. Um, hell, I don't know. I mean, I'll reset it and we'll see if we can... Uh, See if that sounds any different, but I doubt it will. <clears throat> there are a lot of sound options in the Commodore 64 core for the Mister as well to handle, like that's kind of stereo mixing stuff. more time here and then I'm probably going to get going pretty soon here but yeah I need, I, only, I need to update my spectrum stuff to clean this up a little bit and and maybe we'll just do a spectrum stream one of these days because like I said it's this whole machine is such a weird mystery to me and there's so many games that came out for it and so many weird ports <laughs> Which is an amazing name for a game and pretty solid box art. <coughs> oh, it has a pretty good loading screen, but we missed it because we loaded up the basically like the save state snapshot version of it. I love this. Press any key when your choice appears below. Like instead of having a menu to choose, it's like, hey, uh, do you have a. Sinclair joystick? No? No? You got a Kempston? Yes, I do. We want easy, easy game. And then this is Stonkers. I can move this around. And it is some sort of strategy game. I just... The idea of 
we have named a video game Stonkers, I just think is fan fucking tastic. That's about it. Stonkers the game. I couldn't tell you a damn thing about. But there you have it. Is this Beachhead? No, Beachhead is good. Damn it. Maybe Stonkers is good. I don't know. I'm sure there's someone out there that swears by Stonkers. Anyway. I'm going to get going, everybody. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you have a Stonkers weekend. There's, it's, it's, a, it's a big wrestling weekend. Um, That's about it. I don't know. What else is going on? Uh, it's the, it's, you know, what Pokemon came out today, right? Pokemon runs worse than a lot of these spectrum games from what, from the looks of things. But, uh, what are you going to do? Um, we'll be back next week with the podcast, of course, on Tuesday, all that sort of stuff. Um, good luck to Yuji Naka and his, uh, legal troubles. What a weird, I, I, it's, uh, you want to like clown on it, but at the same time, like the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog is in jail. <laughs> You're like, what? Or maybe, I don't know if he's in jail. He got arrested. Maybe he's, maybe he's out. I don't know how these things work in Japan. But, uh, holy smokes. That's, uh, that's a crazy story. Of course, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it on Tuesday. See where it's at by then. Who knows? Maybe they'll have arrested even more. You know, he's taken Miyamoto down with him. All the classic game creators were in on this insider trading scam or, you know, something like that, but. Anyway, I'm going to head out. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Have a good weekend. Be back on Tuesday. All that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, see you soon.